Here's how to terminate a shielded CAT 6A cable. Make sure you use a crimp tool and parts designed to handle shielded CAT 6A cable. First, slide the strain relief boot onto the cable. This boot accommodates larger cables with diameters up to 8 millimeters. Use a wire cutter and carefully cut away about one inch of the cable jacket. Remove the foil shield, pull back the drain wire, and lay it flat against the cable. Remove the clear tape. Trim off any excess. Move the twisted pairs out of the way and trim off the center spline. Untwist the wire pairs. Straighten out the conductors as smoothly as possible to get all the twists out. Organize the wires in the proper color code based on the wiring standard you're using. In this case, we're using T568B, which is for commercial and business applications. Flatten out the cables. Wrap the drain wire around the cable. Next, hold the wires flat and trim them cleanly. Put on the loading bar with the angled side in the up position. Push the loading bar up to about an eighth of an inch away from the jacket. Hold the wires securely and trim the conductors to approximately three tenths of an inch. Insert the cable into the shielded plug. Match pin one of the conductors to pin one of the connector. Check that the cable wires are all the way in the plug. Bend the shield clamp over the cable. Use pliers to crimp it down securely. Insert the plug into the crimp tool and squeeze firmly. Trim any excess drain wire for a neat appearance. Last step, pull boot up over the connector 